Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Living Waters. This week we are going to look into the holiness of God. There is only one attribute of God that is declared in praise continually around the throne of God. That is God's holiness. In English language we we use different techniques to emphasize certain things. We underline words, we make letters bold, we use italics, we might use highlighting of phrases and words. And one of the ways scripture does it is by by a technique called verbal repetition. We see the usages like again I I tell you again I say to you amen amen I say to you both of these usages simply means uh, saying twice saying again and again verbal repetition but there is there is only one attribute of god that is ever raised to the third degree of repetition in the bible bible says holy 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 is the lord God almighty A A Hodge says holiness of god is not to be conceived of as one attribute of god one among other attributes it is rather a general term representing the conception of god's consummate perfection and total glory let me repeat it is a general term representing the conception of god's consummate perfection and total glory in other words holiness describes the infinite worth and absolute uniqueness of god's being god is incomparable and infinite in his perfections and holiness describes it the word means separate distinct cut off set apart Exodus 15:11 says who is like you majestic in holiness it's a rhetorical question that means there is none like you and you are holy for Samuel chapter 2 verse 2 says there is no one like the lord there is no one beside you Psalm 111 verse 19 says holy and awesome is his name In other words holiness describes the very being of God holiness is his name it is not just one of his attributes but rather it marks all of his attributes so god is altogether holy he is altogether separated unlike any man above any man lifted up and high holiness describes the the glorious otherness of god Let us now look into a few applications. Number 1, understanding and seeing beholding the holiness of God leaves us awestruck and that inspires true worship. In Isaiah chapter 6 we get to understand the prophet's vision of the holy God as the curtains of heaven were raised. Have you ever felt like laying down prostrate face down on the ground? as the glory of god overwhelms you has it ever been your experience for someone gripped by the holiness of god his worship will never be casual or without reverence number 2 understanding the holiness of god brings awareness and a hatred for sin the first first thing that prophet isaiah says in response to his vision of the holy god is woe unto me for i am lost for i am a man of unclean lips and dwells in the midst of people of a people of unclean lips seeing the holiness of god makes us realize how unlike god sin is how unlike god we are i am sin is infinitely unlike god and that is why god hates sin and as children of this holy god we need to grow in us a hatred for sin number 
holiness of god moves his children towards holiness first peter chapter 1 verse 16 says you shall be holy for i am holy holiness of god is a two edged sword to the sinner it is repulsive because god is like a consuming fire but to the regenerate holiness is altogether lovely altogether awesome so as children of god we need to pursue righteousness with all our might as god works within us sanctification let me repeat as children of god we need to pursue with all our might righteousness and sanctification number 4 understanding the holiness of god is a powerful motive for missions when we realize that god alone is holy when we realize that he alone is the source of all perfection and goodness when we see in our own lives that through christ jesus god brings the sinner to a life of sanctification and when we grow in that joy of knowing god we would want others to to share in that joy of 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 knowing god in his holiness and being sanctified by god all for one purpose to magnify his holy name 